Hey, I'm Tashi and welcome to my home. Today, we're going to be making this vest. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it for you to hit that subscribe button to join our little crafting corner of the internet. And if you enjoy any part of this video, please consider giving it one of these. Let's get crafting. I love yarn. I love yarn. I love yarn. I love yarn. So this absolutely wonderful pattern creator reached out to me via email and asked if I would be willing to promote one of her patterns. She actually was so gracious and sent me this pattern that we're going to be testing today completely for free. And all that she asked was that I create a post on my Instagram about it. But we're going to do a whole video because I honestly have never created a piece of clothing from just a pattern. Usually when I create my my items of clothing, I'm completely free handing it and I don't I don't really like following patterns. So, we're going to try to follow one of her patterns to create her Iceland vest, which I'm super excited about. If you're a diehard follower of my channel, you probably saw that my aunt recently gave me a whole bunch of gorgeous yarn and I thought that this pattern would be the perfect pattern to try some of this yarn because the only thing that I've made with all of that gifted yarn so far was the headband from that video. So I am so excited to try out this yarn with a vest. One of my fellow subscribers actually recommended in the comments of that video that I make a vest with the yarn and I thought that was just the perfect idea and it just so happens that Asya has this beautiful Iceland vest that we're going to give a whirl. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we need to start by picking out our yarn. So I was just perusing the pattern a little bit and it looks like she uses a light worsted weight, so a DK weight yarn. And to make a size medium, which is what I'll need, I need 350 grams of a DK weight. So let's go see what we have because I'm not 100% sure. We might just have to we might have to fake it till we make it. Ugh. I don't know what any of that means, but we've got 500 grams of it, so I feel like this will work. Plus this is really beautiful and it gives me like mad fall vibes. I don't know, maybe we'll try a gauge with it. Like we'll try the gauge swatch with it and see if it works up okay. And if not, we'll just make adjustments because I really wanna use this yarn. The yarn that I have chosen for this project is from Noro. It is the Curion yarn. Here's the info. And the color is 138. And it is beautiful. It's got like reds and oranges and purples and looks like we might get to some blue greens in there. Beauty mess. Okay, so she says, let's see, where's the gauge? 17 half double crochet back loop only, 10 rows is gonna be four inches, a four inch square using a four millimeter hook. Oh, perfect, my four millimeters right here, oh my gosh. This is beautiful, it's beautiful and serendipitous. Let's make our gauge, 17 half double crochets. I'm gonna do a half double crochet foundation row because that's what I will use for the pattern anyways. Let's just do that. So that's one. Oh, I love this yarn, it's so fluffy. I've only done five rows, but I think we'll just measure it and, and see how it is. Okay, so it's supposed to be four inches across, which it is perfectly love, and then two inches tall, which it is. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so we are good to go on the gauge, and now we need to start start crocheting the other thing i like about her patterns is like she has all of these diagrams at the beginning of her patterns 
that show you different stitches that she uses in her um in her pattern which is really cool okay looks like we're starting with the back piece so i gotta undo this is the part i hate about gauges is like you spend the time doing it and then you have to undo it but whatever I'm actually only gonna undo it to the base row because i need to chain 79 I'm a little confused. Let's start one row at a time. See, I always confuse myself when I like try to read ahead <laughs> on patterns. Okay, let's just start with the first row. So row one, we are making half double crochets and I need to make 77 of them. Okay, 77. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the end. The chain is complete. And now it looks like half double crochets in the back loop. Back loop only. So far, this is pretty easy. <laughs> it's just been half double crochets, which I can handle that. We'll see how it gets on. I don't know. This yarn is a little bit challenging to work with. I honestly might put my crochet gloves on because my fingers have been hurting lately and I have really cool gloves that like cover my fingers. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put them on. Oh yes, they're very sexy, don't you know? Oh, yes. Fabulous. And then this yarn is a little bit like, since it's wool, it's just a little bit scratchy. So I am also hoping that, um, cause I'm kind of starting to feel like I'm getting a little bit of like friction burn on my finger, so I'm hoping that wearing the glove will help with that a little bit. Oh yeah, nice. Well, it looks like I'm just doing this for a many, many rows, so I'm just going to keep working tonight and I'll maybe catch up with you before I stop for the evening. I might move out to my living room and just like sit and watch TV and chill for a little bit, but I'll keep you posted. I'm super excited to see like how this comes together after we get through this first skein because it is just such a beautiful color like we're already starting the color change to purple from the pink gosh it's gonna be gorgeous it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited my happy yarn dance happy yarn dance i should probably go do laundry yeah i should well, I changed into comfy clothes and I am just lounging on the couch and skein one has been complete. So it's looking really cute. It is supposed to be angled on this side. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong um, because I think like this is the shoulder portion from what I understand. So I don't really know how it's going to come together, but I don't know we'll find out we'll see how it all comes together in the end uh but it's looking so beautiful i am loving this yarn it gives just mad fall vibes so i am gonna attach my second skein here and keep going with this but i need to pause for a little um dinner and these gloves are definitely they were definitely the move they are feeling really good for my hands so i feel good to keep going so i'm probably just gonna stay here the rest of the night and just keep crocheting and I think I'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow and we'll do a little progress update.
Okay, it is the next day. Hello, hello. I wanted to show you where I'm at with the sweater. I would say I'm about a quarter of the way done. So this is the back panel. Kevin, your butt's in the way. This is the back panel, and so it's gonna kinda like go like this along the back. So I, I do think I'm about halfway through the back panel, which is awesome. I love that, and I love this yarn. Oh my gosh, isn't that just like so beautiful? I'm so excited to see how this comes together as a vest. Like I can't wait to style it. And I'm currently on my third skein of yarn, but unfortunately I have to put a pin in this project because I have a bunch of market prep that I have to do um, because my friend's coming over on Friday to pick up some stuff for um, market prep because um, she's helping me out with that. So I'm gonna probably have to put this down for a little bit so that I can focus on prepping and then we'll get back to this as soon as I'm done with all of that prep stuff. So I will keep you guys posted and I'll catch up with you probably when I finish the rest of the back panel. All right, time for a little update on the vest situation. So I have finished the back panel. I am seriously obsessed with these colors. Like they are so perfect for fall. One problem though. <laughs> So I was kind of looking at it and I'm like, this doesn't seem even. And it's not. When I fold it in half, look at the difference in the sides. I have no idea what I did. <laughs> I have no, absolutely no idea like what I did or why these sides are so different in their size. I started on this side. So this was the side I started on and this is the side I ended on. So I think what I'll end up doing is I'll just end up taking a couple rows out of the back side. But I, yeah, I, I don't know. Like everything else lines up, like the top and the bottom. No, no, actually they don't. Look at the bottom. Ah, oh my gosh. I literally have no clue what I did. So this is just kind of a janky mess. Like, look at that. <laughs> That's so uneven. So clearly I must have like, I don't know, I must have added stitches or something somewhere along the way. But see, the thing is I counted, like I counted this last row and it was correct. So I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I just need to like remake this back panel or if I just like roll with it and hope that it turns out in the end. I don't know just holding it up it looks even like it doesn't look like it's that far off like at all I don't know it's kind of weird and I'm kind of wondering too like I mean this is kind of a stretchy pattern so it's got a lot of stretch to it so I wonder like yeah even me just manipulating it a little bit there like I can kind of you know like stretch it so maybe just like maybe it's like that because you know, this was the side that I started on and maybe I was crocheting a little tighter. I don't know. So maybe if I block it, it'll be okay. I think I'm going to keep it for now because I want to do the front panel. Um, and then once I get the front panel done, we'll see kind of how it's coming together. The front panel starts the same as the back panel. So I have to re repeat like the first 15 rows, um, pretty much the same as the back panel to do the front panel. So we'll, I think we're just going to keep going with it and we'll see We'll see what happens. I may end up having to redo this panel, but for now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this cause I don't wanna undo all of it. So we'll just keep trucking along. It is a really easy pattern. It's kind of hard to read at first, but once you figure it out, like it's, it's pretty simple. It's just um, like basically half double crochets in the back loop only is pretty much all that it is. And then she does a nice job of like telling you how to decrease and stuff. So yeah, I think we'll just keep, we'll keep rocking with it. I'm gonna get started on the front panel and see how far we can get.
finished. Yay. Oh, I just am obsessed with how beautiful this yarn is. So I'm definitely going to redo the back panel because here, look at this. So back panel, putting it up to the front panel, right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I clearly did something wrong right? Because I, I know for sure that I did the front panel correctly because I actually used stitch markers to mark the end of each row. So I made sure that I was stopping on the correct stitch, which I'm pretty sure I just didn't stop on the correct stitch on every row when I was doing the back panel. So I think that's why I got like kind of funky. So I'm going to frog this and redo the whole thing, but the, it really doesn't take long to whip up. That is something that I'm really appreciating about this pattern as it comes together really, really quickly. Um, yeah, so I, I think I should be able to get it done today. We've got family in town this weekend. And so we'll have some time like just sitting around and chatting with them. So hopefully I will finish this this weekend, but I am also working on another vest. So I kind of also got to get that vest done this weekend, but whatever. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna um, start unwinding this. <sighs> so sad whenever you have to unwind hours of work. <laughs> it's time for an update on the vest. I finished both panels. I've attached them together at the top, but it is definitely like weeks later. So I had to put this project on hold because I've been so busy prepping for my upcoming fall markets, but I'm finally, I'm finally able to finish the vest this week. And I do have my market coming up this weekend, but I've gotten everything done for that. So now my focus is getting this beautiful babe done. And we are so close and look at how gorgeous this is. Oh, I can't wait. I do feel like it might be a little bit big on me, but I, it is supposed to be like a little bit oversized. Um, but I did use, I think the weight of yarn that I used was a little bit big. And even though I did that like gauge swatch, I don't know. Well, maybe it'll fit. I'm excited to try it on, honestly. Like I'm excited to finish so I can just like fully try it on. So the only thing that I have left to do is I just have to finish um, sewing up the sides because right now it's just in like poncho format. And then I do have to add the ribbing around the collar and that's it. The one thing that I'm skeptical of is there is no like bottom ribbing of any kind. Um, and that's just kind of the style, but I, I don't know, depending on how it looks when I try it on, I might add something along the bottom, but we'll see. So this is kind of going to be my goal for the next couple of days. I might be able to finish it today. We'll kind of see how the day goes. I do have a lot on my agenda, but I will definitely keep you guys posted on this journey. We're getting really, really close to the end and I'm very excited to see the final result. So I'll catch up with you in hopefully a little bit.
Well, the vest is finally done. I'm so excited. We're going to try it on in just a second. But first, I just wanted to thank Asya for sending me her Iceland vest pattern. I will definitely make sure to link that in the description below for you guys if you're interested in trying this vest out for yourself. I will say it was such an easy pattern to follow and to make. It came together so quickly despite my, you know, multiple week gap. <laughs> Other than that, it does come together really quickly and it's really easy to do. So I'm super excited to try this on and just kind of see how it fits. And then I thought I would show you how much yarn I have left. So we started with a full bag of yarn and this is all, this is all that I have. So I only have, I think, one skein that I didn't actually dip into at all. And then I have some leftovers from some of my other skeins because I kind of like picked and chose like which um, skeins to use based on which colors matched up the best with the color that my previous skein ended on. So that's kind of why it's it's a little bit of a hot mess. So I think in total, let me see, how many did we end up using? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we ended up using about nine skeins of yarn, maybe eight and a half, eight and a half, nine, something like that. So I have so much more of this Noro yarn and I do think that a vest would be perfect to whip up with the Noro yarn. So I am kind of excited to, uh, to maybe whip some more of these up because it was just such an enjoyable process. Okay. Enough of, enough of my, my gabbing. I think we got to try it on. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see. Ah. <sighs> oh. Oh my gosh, what do we think? You like it? Yeah, you approve? Did I do a good job? I do think this looks super cute. I think it might honestly be like a little bit big on me. I probably could have, I probably could have gone down a size when I was making it, but I like a little room to move, so I'm not mad about it. I just love the colors. Can we just with the colors? I mean, ooh, ah. <laughs> This yarn just has such gorgeous colors in it. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of making my first crochet pattern. Uh, it was quite a journey and I feel like I did learn a lot. So thank you again to Asya and I'll see you guys next time for another crafting adventure.